Good afternoon everybody, coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. Um, had a busy weekend so I wasn't able to do an uh, end of the week video. So the mail is going to be from Friday, Saturday and today. And I believe we have 12 returns, which is awesome. And we do have an RTS. No! Unfortunately, these RTSs are just a part of our hobby and we all have to deal with it, but uh, it still sucks when we get them. I know that. <laughs> so, um, and then at the very end, I'm going to share a purchase I had made for the set. So we're going to start with the RTS, guys. So this RTS was to former Major League Baseball umpire Dale Ford, and I sent it to this Jonesboro, Tennessee address. And as you can see, it's not deliverable as addressed. Um, I was trying to get him to sign one of my checklists for the 1990 Donruss set, and it didn't work. So, is, if anybody has a good address for Dale Ford and wants to share it, I would appreciate it. And if not, I'll just try a different umpire, I guess. But uh, it'd be nice to get Dale Ford. Anyways, that was our RTS, and that was the only bad news of the day. The rest is good news. So moving on to our first success. It's a four or five success in 21 days. It's coming out of Atlanta Metro. Only thing wasn't signed was the index card. And we got back Mr. J. Howell. We got Mr. Howell back on the 1991 tops. The 1987 tops. The 1988 tops. And last but not least, the 1990 score. Nice little return for Mr. Howell, who, as you can see, was a pitcher for the Dodgers and the A's. I uh, believe he was also a pitcher for some other teams, the Yankees, Cubs, Reds. Um, but he hung around for a while, and he was a, he was a part of the Dodgers World Series in 1988. So our next success is a one of two success. In 11 days, coming out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Only thing wasn't signed was the index card. And we got back Mr. J. Aldrich on the 1988 tops. It's the only card I had uh, of him around at the time. So I sent it out just to get it signed and to uh, be done with it. So we got that signed. Turned out great. Our next success is a one of two success in nine days coming from absolutely nowhere. Only thing wasn't signed was the index card. And we got back former Whaler Barry Peterson on the 1992 Premier OPG. So we got some hockey returns coming back, which is nice. Just started sending those out about two weeks ago. So great to see them starting to roll back in here along with some baseball and uh, started sending out some basketball as well. So hopefully, like I said in the, back, in the past videos, we'll start getting a nice mix. Our next success is a two of two success in nine days coming out of St. Louis, Missouri. And we got back former star Rob Ramage on the 1992 OPG premiere. And all I had of him was another Premier 92 OPG, so we got them both signed. And they turned out great, as most hockey cards do. Our next success is a one-of-one one success in 14 days coming out of, looks like, Syracuse, New York. We got back. Mr. Frank DePino on the 1991 Tops. Again, that's the only card I had around at the time and wanted to send it off, especially since I've been uh, sending off a bunch of 91 Tops to get it signed. Our next success is a two of two success in 13 days coming out of Metroplex, Michigan. And we got back Mr. Tim Burtzis on the 1990 Don Russ. Uh, I did already have this one, so uh, if it's not an upgrade, it's uh, definitely trade material. And we got him on the 1991 Tops. Not sure if I have him on 91 Tops yet or not. I'll have to look. So we got uh, two from Mr. Burtzis, who is a fantastic signer, guys. 
Our next return is a three of three success in 13 days coming out of Springfield, Missouri. And we got back Mr. Scott Bales on this 1990 Don Russ. Uh, I have gotten Mr. Bales back before, so I gotta see if uh, any of these are upgrades. And as you can see, we sent him 390 Don Russ. So I definitely have trade material. Um, just gotta see which one looks the best for the set and then the others will be trade material but uh yeah got three signed by mr bales he was willing to sign the duplicates so greatly appreciate it our next return is a two of two success in 18 days coming out of tampa florida st petersburg florida and we got back mr clint hurdle so here, this is the, what year is this? This is 2007 Tops. This is when he was the manager of the Colorado Rockies. And we got him on the 1986 Tops with the New York Mets as a player. So those turned out fantastic. Definitely glad to get Mr. Hurdle back. And he's got an awesome looking signature there, I gotta tell you. That 86 top set. Gotta shout out uh, Mets Rule. Gotta shout out um, Chad, because I know he's a huge 86 tops fan. Um, it just looks nice. That set looks nice, gotta tell you. So, our next success is a two of two success in 11 days, coming from nowhere again. And we got back Mr. Jim Clancy. Got Mr. Clancy back on the 89 Don Russ. And we got him back on the 89 Tops. Those both turned out fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Clancy, for signing. Greatly appreciate it. Our next success is a one of one success in 11 days coming out of South Suburban, Illinois. We got back Mr. West Chamberlain. As you can see, he always personalizes it, so it says to Brandon at the top there. But he's got a beautiful, beautiful signature. Got a lot of loops. Turned out great. So we got Mr. Chamberlain on the 1991 tops. Definitely glad to add that one. Our next success is a 4-4 success in 11 days coming out of North Texas, Dallas, Texas. And also threw in uh, some uh, information here. It's coming from Pat Combs. Uh, he wrote a book, so he threw in some information about it. So I wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys are interested. You guys can go check it out. And so we got him on the Stadium Club, which is, what year is this? This is 1991. 1991 Stadium Club looks great. Shout out to Eddie, who is a Stadium Club fanatic. And we also got him on the 1991 Tops. And another 1991 Tops. And last but not least, we got him on the 8th. 1989 Bowman, which actually turned out really nice, I gotta say. So definitely awesome of Mr. Combs to send back again. Greatly appreciate it. And our last success of the day, our last success of the day is a one of one success in 10 days. Again, it's coming from I cannot tell, so we're gonna say nowhere. Oh yeah! And we got back Mr. George Foster. And we got him on this Pacific Legends card. As you can see on the back. Shout out to Johnny Serena. I know that he loves his Pacific Legends cards. And uh, just had to, uh, I had to reach out and send it to George Foster and get it signed. And so happy that I did. Definitely, definitely happy we got that one back. So thank you, Mr. Foster. Thank you to all of those athletes that signed for us. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys before we ended the video is a purchase I made for the 1990 Donruss set. I thought it was a good deal. 
I picked this up for eight dollars and it is Mr. Steve Avery on the rated rookie. Now you can usually get him through pass pros but I want to say he's 12 or 15 dollars through pass pros and I was getting ready to send out to him but I saw this card for eight and I figured uh, I might as well save some money and uh, get it. So we got Mr. Steve Avery rated rookie on the 1990 Don Russ. So definitely glad to add that one to the set. Makes me one step closer to 400. And that'll do it, guys. Again, if you guys have a good address for Mr. Dale Ford uh, and want to share it, let me know. But other than that, guys, that's it. Hope you guys have full mailboxes. Hope you guys have a fantastic and blessed evening. Until our next video. See ya. Bye, guys.